Hello friends! For today's video, I'm doing an unboxing of this month's February's BoxyCharm box. The theme is Galaxy Glow and I'm so excited. First off, in here we have Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. And this says, it says here on the card that this is a blend of soft sugar crystals within a rich, nourishing self base that gently exfoliates and buffs lips, leaving behind smoother skin with a touch of refreshing lemon zest scent. Made with avocado, apricot, and jojoba oils, as well as shea and cocoa butter to help rejuvenate and hydrate dry lips. So, you know, I'm just gonna go right in with it. This is really cute, comes in a little tube. I've already opened it because I'm a savage. Just gonna take a little bit, and scrub my lips. Wipe off the sugar. All right, so that's that. This product retails for $24. It does smell like lemon zest. It tastes pretty good too. No complaints. Hydrated and smooth. Like, like they're ready for things. If that makes any sense. All right, next up, I guess we'll go on to the brushes. This is a trio brush set from Crown Brush and or Crown Pro. These brushes, it says, retail for $29.99. And it says here that the small brush can be used to conceal imperfections and highlight under the eyes. The medium brush can be used to sculpt the cheekbones and perimeter of the face. And finally, the large powder brush can be used to set everything in place. So they're really cute. I like the thick handle. It reminds me of those Morphe brushes that are, right? Is that the Morphe brushes? I don't know, but if I'm right, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right in and do some sculpting because that's what it says that I can do with this. So I'm just gonna take my Lorac um, Pro Contour Palette and go into the light shade and Ooh. talk about ease of control. Now that I am sculpted, I'm just going to go in and blend this out a little bit with this. And just to kind of soften it up just a little bit. All right, and now with the same brush, I'm going to take the blush shade out of this pure blush and bronze palette, or bronze and brighten palette that was in last month's BoxyCharm. And just kind of I don't really like to wear blush anyway, but it's not bad. This is nice. This is a nice brush. It feels really nice. There's that. Okay, and just because I didn't use this brush, I'm gonna go in and highlight just a few points of my face like my nose with the same pure palette and my brow bone as well as my cupid's bow just a little bit next in this um, lovely box we have here this beautiful palette from naked cosmetics and it is the Holographic Highlighter Palette. 
And if you look right here, you can see that this looks very familiar. I won't say anything more about it. But here, ooh, seems you have like a pinky one, a purple, a rosy or orangey, peachy something, um, yellow or gold, blue and green. And I'm going to do some quick swatches of these for you. Okay, so these are really pretty. So from this side to this side, it is the pink one, the purple one, and then the rosy colored one. And this one's even a little bit duochrome. It's more like a pink with like purple or blue shift. That's really pretty. They're very, they're not, they're definitely not holographic. I mean, we don't really have to talk about this because it's been talked about. It's not holographic, it's iridescent, it's duochrome, it's metallic, it's shimmery, not holographic, but it's okay because it's kind of winning so far. All right, and then I'm going to do the bottom row. All right, and then for, this is the green one, the blue one, and then the gold or yellow one. So as you can see, these are very pretty. Um, you can have all of them right here. There's that for you. There's the whole palette swatched. Um, I mean, with a couple of them, especially these three, the pink one, the gold one, and the green one, these are very soft. They're very pigmented. They're very smooth and creamy. They're very soft. As with, oh, and the purple one. The purple one is very soft as well. Unfortunately, the duochrome, pinky, purple one, and the blue one are very, I don't want to say, uh, they're very, I don't know, can you, can you see? Can you see that? Like, they're chunky. They're kind of chunky. And they don't, go on the smoothest, but I'm hoping that we can make them work anyway at some point. I'm gonna take this little unicorn brush here because we're feeling unicorny. I'm gonna go into the pink one and let's see how it goes. Oh, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of there. Let's go in a little bit harder. Oh, there it is. Can you see? I don't know. I don't know what can be seen and what can't be seen, but we're just gonna keep rolling with it. It's very pink. It's very subtle. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera. But in here, it's very subtle, even with my light shining directly on my face. Um, it's very pretty though. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with, into the purple one a little bit, cause why not? I'm gonna put that one on top. Ooh, that's nice. Is it even, ooh, there it is, there it is. So there's that. Mm. Okay. And take this purple one down the center of my nose as well. Oh, that's nice. And here, and the pink one on my cute as well. Pretty much all over my face. All right, so that's looking nice. I'm actually going to, to take this brush that we used earlier and go over my brow bone with this pink shade. I like it a lot. I think it's nice. I, I wish it was a little bit more blinding, but I feel like if it was, you'd have strange stripes on your face. So maybe it's okay. <laughs> this Naked Cosmetics highlighter palette retails for $39.99 and the description is, uh, six stunning holographic shades. This highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanting. And I like it, I do. I mean, I wouldn't purchase it. I wouldn't spend $40 on this. It's nice, I'm glad that I have it. I'm excited to use it more, but I think that that's extremely pricey for the size and just everything, I don't know. All that's left in this box is a black eyeliner pencil by Vintage by Jessica Liebeskind, or Liebeskind, and then the Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. 
and I'm very excited about this one. It is in the shade Amethyst, the one that I got. It's very pretty and purpley pink. Definitely not straight purple though. There's that for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, very nice. All right, so before I get into that, I have some eyeshadow to do. So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and finish up my eyes and then I'll be back to try out this and this. All right, so I've put on a little bit of eyeshadow just as base for the shimmer veil here and I used the Winky Lux Kitten palette for this. Um, this is one of my favorite palettes. I love it. Thank you, BoxyCharm, for sending me all my favorite things. I don't know. That's great. All right, so now we are going to go in with the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. And before we do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. It retails for $28 a piece. Um, it's a multi-use shimmering cream color, crease-proof enough for the boldest of eye looks, and formulated with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face. Suitable for all skin types. All right, so today I'm going to be using this on my eyelids because I already have a pop-in highlight. It's actually very pretty. I looked closer and you can really see it. Wow, it's very colorful. So I'm just gonna go and apply it directly to my lid, I guess. And we will see. in with my fingers a little bit smooth it out it looks like it's not grabbing onto my skin someplace but I think that that's just the way that the light is hitting it um I like it I think it's very pretty I think it's very beautiful and it doesn't seem to be creasing or transferring uh, I'm gonna go in on this side just slap it on there. So pretty. Wow. Wow. I'm glowing like the galaxy. Good job, Boxy Charm. Y'all are doing a good job. Okay. And, you know, since this other eye is dry, we might as well see if we can layer it up. Wow, it looks more pink when you first put it on and then it dries purple. It's not doing anything weird. All right, so now I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Take a little vape break, you know. It's so pretty. I can't get over it. It isn't creasing. It isn't transferring. It looks pretty. I'm gonna go back in with some eyeshadow and try to blend in the edge a little bit. No big issues yet. Nothing's flaking off. There is no fallout. It is dried to my eyelids. It is dry. So, to finish off my eyes, we're gonna go back into this Naked palette and give myself a little bit of an inner corner glow. So I'm gonna take the purple one on this Wet n Wild brush and hit my inner corner with it. And let's see actually what happens when I wet it. Okay. Oh my. Wow. Wow. That's nice. That's really pretty. This eyeliner. Now let me tell you a little bit about it. This is from Vintage Cosmetics. It is the Smoky Eye Pencil. It retails for $21. And the description is as follows. Jessica's richly pigmented smoky eye pencil delivers intense jet black definition. Creating pencil point precision or smudgy saturated color, the creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling. Okay, so I'm just gonna, wow. 
Okay, this top doesn't stay on very well, so if you travel with this, be careful. Um, I'm just gonna go right in. All right guys, so here is the finished look of this month's BoxyCharm, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, for lashes, I went in with Hardest Lash Paint Mascara, and um, for my lips, I wore, I'm wearing Color Empire Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Spun Sugar, and it's very pretty. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope to see you in the next one.